All right, so this is the second FRQ from the AP Pre-Calculus 2024 exam. If there are any corrections, I'll put it in a pinned comment below. Okay, so on the initial day of sales, a new video game, there were 40,000 units of the game sold that day. 91 days later, there were 76,000 units of that game sold that day. Okay, great, fine. The number of units in the video game sold in a given day can be modeled by this function, where g of t. Use the given data to write two equations that can be used to find the value of the constants a and b in the expression. Okay, so this one is really just about setting up the information here. Now, there... Um, number of units sold in thousands. So just don't worry, like think about the thousand as part of the units of it here. So that means we're gonna say G of T, or uh, sorry, at time zero, what we're saying is time zero, there's 40. So G of zero is equal to 40. So then you could plug it into the equation as like um, A plus B ln of one is equal to 40. Okay, so that's one equation, just me plugging in zero into here. And then also G of uh, 91 is equal to 76, right? So I plug in 91 here, it's gonna be A plus B natural log of 91 is equal to uh, 76. Okay, so that would be another equation. That'd be two equations there. Um, and then now we wanna solve those. So this one, ln of one is zero. So really A is just gonna equal 40. Okay, and then you plug that into here, so then you have 40 plus B natural log of 91 is equal to 76. So we're gonna subtract 40, it's gonna give you 36, and then divide by natural log of 91. So this is a still calculator question, and they want it a uh, decimal approximation. So what they want you to do is use your calculator ln of 91, 7.981, 7.981 there. Okay, and then, um, so those are the, the, those are that part there. B, use the given data to find the average rate of change in the number of units in the video game show, sold in thousands per day. Express your answer as a decimal approximation, show the computation. So average rate is going to be, um, you, if you're going from zero to 91, it's literally gonna be G of 91. It's this difference quotient like that. So G of 91 is the number there, which is 76 minus, and then G of 40 is, um, G of zero is 40, 40,000 divided by 91. And then um, when you put your units here, so be careful when you do this one. So we're gonna do 76 minus 40 and then divide that, that's 36 divided by that 91 there. And you're gonna get 0 0.396 thousands of thousands of units. And then per, what is the, the, the per unit time? Um, these were in days per day. So that's the rate, okay? So you can also, if you don't want to write as thousand, this would be perfectly acceptable in terms of dimensionally. You could say it's 396 units per day. That would also be fine. But you know, I just left it in thousands of units because that's the units that they were using here. Okay, um, let's see. Use the average rate of change found in I to estimate the number of units of video games sold in thousands on day T equals 50 show the work that leads to your answer. So for example, so the way they want you to think about this one is to say like, well, if you're doing this many units per day, thousands of units, so we're gonna start with 40 and you're gonna do this many units, thousands of units per day, but how many days on day 50? So day 50 is 50 days later. So 91 days later, yeah, t equals 50 for t equals 50. So this is what we're gonna do for this calculation here. You're gonna start with this amount and you're gonna talk about the rate of change times the number of days. So this is like saying, I started with 40,000 and then 0.396 thousandths per day times 50 days is how much it grew by and I add that to that original 40 there, right? So I'm gonna take this value, use the unrounded values when you do this, that times 50 and then add 40 to it. And that's gonna be 59. 780 thousands of units. So we'd say G of 50 is approximately equal to that. You probably wanna use that function notation just to be clear on that one. So that is for part two. 
Part three, let A, let A of T represent the estimate of the number of units the video game sold in thousands using the average rate of change in, um, okay, using the average rate of change, estimate number of units sold in thousands for A50. It can be shown that A50 is less than G50. Explain why in general A of T is less than G of T for all T where zero is less than T is less than 91. Okay, so they're saying that A50, this is our estimate, A50, right? So this is our approximation. Now they're saying that this should be less than the actual amount sold, okay? Um, and what you, wanna, what you wanna say here is, um, let me see. So using the average rate of change um, found, it can be shown that A of 50. Explain why in general AT for zero to 91 here. Um, because, let me see. Normally what we would say about why we have an underestimate there on our approximation has to do with the, um, the rate of change that we picked. But why did the average rate of change? So um, one thing, the way, one way to look at it is to look at the, look at the shape of G of T. So let me kind of show you what, you know, like if we look at this graph of it, just to help you understand what they're asking for you here. Is they're asking you, like, say, well, if I have this graph 40 plus, and, and that's because one of the things about rules about natural log, the way you describe natural log is it, it increases at a decreasing rate. That means, like, the function's going up, but it's going up less steep as you move along. Okay, times natural log of t plus 1, x plus 1 here. So let me just kind of show you the graph and I'll explain the reasoning. We'll write out the reasoning, but I want you to see what the, what the, um, what in our window, we're going to go zero to 91. Okay. And then the Y value is like, I don't know, it starts at 40 and it goes to what 76. So it should be between there and there. Okay. So what's happening. Okay is we're starting at a value here and we're saying we're doing this average rate of change from there to there. So the average rate of change is the slope from there to there. But notice that what happens is that, um, um, I don't know why this isn't true in general overall, but um, actually give me a second. I think what they wanted you to say, this is my idea, is that the, you see how the, the it's 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 growing slower as you move along. That's the that's the shape of a natural log curve. That over the same time intervals, okay, this the the rate that it goes up decrease is, is decreasing. Like the the y values are going to decrease um, by less over the same intervals. So I think the argument they were trying to have you say is to say like, well, if you look at this rate, that rate is going to be greater than the the rate of change. Um, actually let's go from zero to 76. Maybe that would be easier to see. So we're going to pick that there. And overall, I, I, I actually disagree with the sentiment that it's always the approximation is less because I think it's steeper early on. So I'm, I'm a, this is why I'm a little puzzled by th th this statement here. But the general sentiment of what they're saying is that that rate of change that we're doing for there is going to be greater than the, the rate of change, because eventually the rate of change just gets less and less and less. And therefore, but we assume that the rate of change is constant. That's why we call it average rate of change. But if we assume that, then it, it's it's gonna um, it's gonna come out as an underestimate there. So um, um, yeah, that is, um, that's kind of the, the line of reasoning there. Um, so it's because, our assumed rate, rate of change, is larger than the um, actual rate because, and, and, and tie it specifically to this natural log. Natural log has decreasing um, rates over the same interval. There's a specific wording they might want to use, but I'm gonna to have to see when they have the solution guides what, what to put there. But I actually, um, I actually don't agree necessarily with that part. I, I'm, I'm, it, it's not generally true that this is this would be necessarily true. Um, I, I don't think. 
So part C, the makers of the video game reported that daily sales of the video game decreased each day after T equals 91. Okay, explain why the Aaron model G increases after T equals 91. Um, well, so in this case, G, G of T is always increasing in value, in value. In other words, as you, because that, that's what a natural log just always goes up, just all be very slowly. But um, the actual sales started decreasing. So the difference is greater. Because um, basically what actually happens is it starts going down instead and, and the, the graph would show that it continues going up.